Hey guys, welcome back to Sammy Voss Stock and today I want to do this quick little video where I basically fill in this area because it's one of the last areas in the whole city that is, it's kind of a weird disconnect from each suburb. Um, this one, once we connect this part together, I feel like everything in the whole city will kind of look like an actual proper connected real city. So this area isn't too big. Um, it's, it is kind of industrial. It's going to be some offices. There's going to be uh, a few shops, but there's, an, there's going to be one residential building, which you'll see right at the end, but mostly it's, um, yeah, offices and, uh, industrial space. So for here, there's going to be a bunch of like warehouse type buildings and I didn't want to put it right on the road because of two reasons because like trucks would stop and go on the road that would disrupt traffic but also because we have that monorail line so we can't really build too much under it so I've mostly put those uh, parking lots underneath and then just a few really small buildings but yeah most of it's all set back and I think it makes more sense to have it set back have that have a little parking lot area as well and um, yeah so I I didn't really plan on making this a whole industrial area but yeah, it kind of just happened and um, I don't know, I just wanted to do something that's a little bit different, a little bit unexpected, I suppose. And yeah, so there's those existing industrial buildings um, and then we do have that pathway right there. So along the pathway is going to be a more commercial area. There's going to be a few shops, um, some nicer offices, but then once you get onto the other side of the road, which is right here, that's where all of the like the big warehouses and the industrial places are and the, the warehouses and things like that. Also, just really quick while I remember it, I did a collab with the actual City Skylines people, so you can go check that out on their channel right now. It's about highway interchanges, so it's a pretty good video, pretty decent, some good tips, so definitely go check that out because, yeah, like I said, really good tips on that video. So anyway, back to what I'm doing here. So you can see we, got the, we have the ferry, which is right there. The pathway goes right to it. Um, these are just a few office buildings filling in those awkward little spaces. Thank God we have different size buildings because imagine if we just had like four times four size buildings. How boring would that be? Like, so that, that's a tip. Like, if you want your city to look really just more realistic have a good variety of buildings so small large you can see that's what i do so i have the really big white one there some smaller brown ones like really mix it up it just it really makes a big difference uh all of these spaces here they were just really awkward so i couldn't fit anything in there it just wouldn't really fit any buildings it would look weird if i put roads nothing parking lots maybe but plants just throw it in <laughs> you know me i love my plants so yeah, just, just filling in that awkward space with a good bunch of stuff. Um, also, I did a video about how to detail. That's the last video, I think. So basically, I reveal some of my tips for detailing. Like, I know that my detailing isn't that great, but sometimes the things that I do look pretty good and even I amaze myself. Anyway, this part here. So this is where there's going to be a little uh, commercial area. So we have this pathway and this pathway brings so many people, like so many, it's crazy. So it makes a lot of sense to basically utilize that large influx of people for all of these shops. So if you put a lot of industrial buildings along the pathway, that's not really going to do much for anyone except for the, the industrial workers. But if you have all of these shops and things right on this really busy pathway, imagine how much business those commercial buildings are going to get. Like, oh, it's going to be a good spot. It's like prime spot. It's right on the river. Good view. Good location. I mean, yeah, why not utilize it? Not. I don't really know if that really makes a difference because like, I suppose I never really watch if Sims... Is that what we call them, Sims, or if the little people actually walk into shops? I know they walk into the houses, but do they actually stop and go shopping? Hmm, I don't know about that. Does anyone else know? Someone probably knows. I'm sure they must do. They must, they probably just go in and then disappear. But I wonder if actually having more commercial on a pathway brings better uh, value for the shop, brings in more income. I don't know. Now, originally I was going to leave this here, but I thought we can utilize that space a little bit more, put in an extra road, put in a few more shops, a few more offices, but then we have a really weird, it's like a cliff right there. It's pretty steep and like, it takes me so long to figure out what building I want because of the terrain and then you've got to move it with the move it mod. 
takes a little while usually I cut it all out for you guys I love these big buildings right there these big I think that's office yeah those big colorful office buildings they also are available as residential as well I really love them I put some more in as well uh, in a few minutes so again these are offices and then on the other side where they face the water is where all of the commercial buildings are so they start to um just i think i think i i did it like that because those commercial buildings obviously face onto the pathway so the pedestrians or the cyclists just walking past they would be able to see it really easily it would be really easy and um, good for the shop owners as well. So I'm just using the same old pathway that I always use. So it's the one with the, the pedestrian walkway on the side and then the two way bike path. It's the one that's always really, really busy. Still don't know why this one in particular is busier than the rest. I don't know why, but it they all seem to love it. So I'm like, yeah, you, well, all right. Yeah, you can have it. You can use it. <laughs> You can use it all you want and I'm glad that a lot of them use it because my roads are basically empty like no one's driving in my city like I might I like I should just get rid of all the roads because no one is really driving their residential cars uh, it's mostly just like trucks and vans maybe ambulances zooming around police cars fire trucks but like there isn't really just many normal cars like you can see there's a donut truck there and um, yeah, so part of me was like, should I downgrade all of the large build, uh, the large roads in the downtown area because they're basically a ghost town. And when I first started this city, I was like, oh yeah, they're going to be really busy. I'll divert all the traffic onto these really busy roads. And yeah, there's really not much traffic and the population is 170,000. So that's a lot of people. Where are they all? Like, what's everyone doing? Where? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. It just amazes me how there's really no, no traffic. So this elevated part here, like I said, it's elevated, it's above the pathway, it's above the tree, so they have a really good view. So I wanted to utilize that space for some food trucks, some uh, seating area. I'm just using the vanilla park for in there because nothing else really fits. Now this side over here, what I'm doing is filling it in because I wanted it to look like it's more connected to the other side, if that makes sense, because so the new side that we just did, now that it's kind of it's manicured it's looked after this other side that I'm working on just now it was just trees and it wasn't really manicured it wasn't really looked after so I needed to do something so I've put in a seawall and then I've tried to reduce that hard seawall image with some rocks and some trees right there and then I'm going to fill it in with a whole bunch of residential buildings but I'm not just going to use any odd residential buildings I'm going to use the big colorful ones that matches those office buildings on the other side so there's really big colorful office buildings that I was talking about just before and the reason why I'm doing that is because I want both sides to have some kind of similarity if that makes sense so it keeps the the look of the city going it keeps the flow I, don't, I can't really explain it, you just have to kind of know what I mean. But it's re it's really just trying to make the city look more connected, even though there's a huge river div uh, dividing it. And then lastly, I just wanted to add in one really random housing complex area. And again, I'm going to be using a big residential building, or kind of high-rise tower. And it's going to, again, be the really colorful looking one. And so that's going to match the colorful offices on this side of the river, the colorful residential buildings on the other side of the river. And it's just going to just add that a little bit more because it's all the same. And honestly, it looks good. So that's basically the last thing that I wanted to do um, with all of these new areas added in. So the residential parts that I've added added in on the other side ends up adding about a thousand new households this housing complex right here ends up adding about 360 new households so that's households like there could be five people per household and then the amount of workers that gets added into the whole new big area that i worked on is about 1600 jobs so anyway thank you guys for watching i'll give you guys a final quick look hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a comment and suggestion for other videos that i can do it doesn't have to be for just this city it could be tutorials or something in general thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you all very soon bye guys